Hello, and welcome to Bulletproof Heart. I'm Sam. If you enjoy bullet journaling as much as I do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can stay connected. Today I'm doing a weekly spread, but there's only two days left in the week of April, so I'm also doing a April review. And there's gonna be a few changes to the channel as well. So I just recently got a second job, so I won't have as much time to be filming YouTube videos. So I'm only gonna be putting up a video every Tuesday. So if you enjoy watching my videos, you can look forward to those on Tuesdays. I'm also thinking of opening a sticker shop. I don't want to go through Etsy though, so I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to go about it yet, but as soon as I set it up, I will let you guys know. Without further ado, let's get to it. So because there were only two days left um, for the end of the month, I decided to do an April review. So I'm reviewing things that worked in my bullet journal, things that didn't work, and things that I want to change. I also have a spot for dates that I wanted to remember that happened this month and also dates that are going to happen next month. This is the first time that I'm doing a review in my bullet journal and I really think that it helped me to understand the things that I need from my bullet journal. I can get more use out of my journal and tailor it to fit my lifestyle to boost productivity and take care of my overall health and well-being. The things that worked for me this month were my mood tracker and my expense tracker. My mood tracker really helped show me that not all days are bad days and most of the days were actually good days. What didn't work was the different sleep tracker that I had tried. If you watched my April plan with me, I attempted to do a different type of sleep tracker and after the second day, it really just wasn't working for me. So I pasted a paper over it and switched back to my old one. The things that I needed to change were, I wanna journal in my weeklies, I wanna do a symptom tracker for my meds, and I want to add a positive events list so that I can see that that even if I have a bad day, something good can come out of it. I had a few pictures left over from the beginning of the month, so I just used them to create this little collage in the blank space above my weekly spread. That about wraps up this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those below as well. If you happen to make any recreations or do your own April review, you can tag me on Instagram. My information can be found in the description. And as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you love bullet journaling as much as me. Bye, guys.